Am I the asshole? For not making board game nights in my store child free? I own a game store and hold board game D&D nights three times a week. I have a few tables set up in the back so people can come in and play games, along with a small kitchen really just a fridge, microwave, sink and cupboard so people can have some snacks and drinks while playing. One of the regular groups have been playing D&D in my store on a weekly basis for the past three years and I've sometimes joined them as a guest player, and it's always been great fun. About a year ago they had to find a new DM because their usual DM didn't have the time to dedicate to preparing campaigns anymore. While they were looking they still came in weekly, but just played regular board games instead. Now a few months ago this 10 year old girl let's just call her Emma for convenience showed up with her mother at one of the game nights. According to her mother, Emma had been spending months making all kinds of materials for playing D&D, but didn't know anyone who would play with her. So her mother wondered if it was okay for her to ask at my store if anyone would be willing to play. The regular group was more than happy to join in for a session, and it ended up going so well they asked Emma to DM for them regularly if she wanted to. Fast forward to now and Emma is DMing two days a week, one time for the regular group and one time for one-off sessions for other people to jump in if they want. I swear this girl is a genius, she has memorized the entire player's handbook and monster guide, and made a fully homebrew campaign that's genuinely fun and exciting though sometimes also surprisingly dark. Now for the problem. A few other people have started complaining about there being a child on game nights, saying the reason they're playing here is because they have children at home. Now that Emma is also coming to the game nights, they feel like they can't play games as they usually do because they keep having to think about whether their language or jokes are inappropriate for the presence of a child. I told them that I never said anything about providing a child-free space, so I won't be banning Emma from coming so I'm sorry if they don't like it. But they're welcome to plan their nights on days where Emma isn't there, or find a different place to play. I did tell Emma's mother that Emma is only allowed to be here as long as one of her parents is also present not going to take any risk. Am I the asshole? For not banning children from game nights and telling people to basically suck it up? Not the asshole, it sounds like Emma is contributing a lot to creating a fun and positive atmosphere at your store. Not like the Killjoy is trying to escape from their own kids. Not the asshole. I don't like playing with children or having them in my gaming space so I go to a gaming bar, not the local game store. Gaming stores are an all-ages environment where anyone can learn, that's the whole point. Not the asshole. If you want to allow kids, that's up to you. They are ours because they actually expect you to 86 a different regular. You gave them options. They can take it or leave it. Not the asshole and you're a GD hero. Or a wizard or a mage or a dragon or whatever the best thing is. Cheers, for eternity. All us grown-up Emmas who were never let or just didn't feel welcome 30-40 years ago and missed out thank you. Not the asshole. God I wish I had a game store like that to go to. Because the kind of jokes that people feel uncomfortable making around a 10 year old girl are exactly the kind of jokes I wouldn't want to hear in my own games either. Not the asshole thanks for giving Emma a safe place to play and give her space to show her enthusiasm. Not the asshole as you stated it was never advertised as a child free event and she's not causing any problems so they can't expect you to ban her. They need to grow up and suck it up. Lots of places I've gone to hold a day for adults only, one for kids only, and one for kids and parents car takers. Not the asshole. They could try treating her like a regular human being. Not the asshole. People who hate their kids so much they're triggered by other kids when without them simply should not be having children. Not the asshole Emma seems infinitely cooler than some of the adults going there. Considering it's only two nights and a parent is with her, it's pretty cool and they need to deal with their own issues. Not the asshole. 
I hate kids and even I think Emma sounds lovely and has as much right as anyone else to play a game she loves. People want a kid-free zone they can make one themselves. Not the asshole. Um, as a DM, if all I read is true, Emma is a tiny god indeed. If it's 5e, that's a lot of knowledge she's absorbed and then works with. Not the asshole. Sounds like the assholes are the adults who can't handle a child in a gaming store. I am a committed gamer, and never once would I expect an LGS to ban children from any event, at any time. Not the asshole. I started playing when I was 11 at a game shop owners like you help keep the game alive with youngsters like me then and Emma now. Not the asshole and you should do a little bit of throwing it back at them. Guys, don't you remember when you were 10 and wanted to play DD? You'd have liked to be rejected like you want her to be rejected? Not the asshole Emma is a participant. In addition, lots of people don't like cussing or off-color jokes in such an atmosphere so probably enjoy the situation. Not the asshole. Too bad your customers' kids aren't as cool, mature, and creative as Emma, but that's not her fault or yours Emma sounds like a great addition to your game nights, and her parents sound terrific, too. You own a public space that caters to all ages. Games are kid-friendly no matter how many adults play them. If they need an adult space, they need to find one. I hear bars tend to offer this environment. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Totally misread misunderstood the title. Yep this is perfect and I love it. It's wholesome and nerdy and fabulous, romantic face. Not the asshole. One your store your rules. Two Emma is not disruptive. Three if certain customers want child free game time so the adults don't have to feel as constrained in their language, perhaps you should pick a specific night for that type of activity. Not the asshole. First off, it's your store. Do as you please. Second, Emma sounds awesome. These gatekeeping neckbeards can wander back to Discord if they want to tell off color jokes. Not the asshole. You've made an awesome space that everyone can enjoy. Not always easy for girls to get into games, let alone young ones. Way to go up. Not the asshole. Emma is awesome, and you're awesome. Sounds to me like you handled it perfectly. Your games nights are to facilitate the playing of the game and creation of gaming community, which is exactly what you're doing. Carry on. If there's a couple of tables they can find another game or DM and play games without her. I don't really see a problem especially if her parents are fine with her in this interaction. Definitely not the asshole. Not I your store, your rules, and she sounds like an amazing kid. Good for you for encouraging good attitude behavior. You're absolutely not the asshole. The world needs more people like you, Emma's mother, and her team. Not the asshole. If there's a lot of interest, you could consider hosting an adults-only night. Otherwise, keep the arrangement as is.